Hey everybody, I'm Amy from Body Foot by Amy and this is your mini loop band shred workout. So in this workout, we will work the entire body for strength and cardio using your mini loop bands. As always, I will give you lots of different options, so listen to your body and work to your level. If you don't have bands yet, I will link these in the description. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel so you never miss new workouts when they are coming up and we can grow the body fit community. All you need for this workout are your bands and a mat. Are you ready? Let's do it. Okay, so let's start warming up. You can march it, you can jog it. Whatever feels good for you today. Let's roll those shoulders to the back and to the front. We will keep this warm up short so we can keep the workout short. But of course, if you need more of a warm up or a cool down good on your own, you can check out my extended warm up and extended cool down to get some ideas, right? One arm at a time. With our dynamic warm up, we're just gonna take a couple minutes to get the blood flowing, get the muscles moving, and get our body moving in the ways that we're gonna be moving it today using our mini loop fan. Let's go ahead and reach it up, fold it over, little hinge right here, and breathe. Reach it down, reach it up right here. You can stay right here, or if you want, walk it out to that inchworm. Walk it all the way back. So we are walking out into a plank, but bend your knees, walk it out. Let's get that core fired up and ready to go. One more, if you're able, hold it here or take it down to your knees. And we're just gonna push back into that down dog. Ooh, feeling tight, right? Don't worry if you can't get all the way back there. It does not have to look perfect. We just want the little stretch. You can tap the knees or tap the toes if you want. Up to you, one more each way. Yeah, feeling it. Good. Walk it back. Shake it out. Take it side to side. So just stationary. Side lunge. Reaching and reaching. Then open up, step through. Open up, step through. So mini loop band. I have a few options. Maybe you do too. Usually when you get them, you have a light, a medium, and a heavy. There will be some such as lower body where you might want to go a little heavier, maybe some upper body where you want to go a little lighter. Let's tap it back right here. Already getting in the warm, winded in the warm up. I love it. Maybe you are too. <laughs> Drop it down in the lunge if you can just to open up that hip and that hip flexor. If you need to stay with the tap back, that works too. <sighs> Let's take it here. You can either just reach it up to get the little stretch or reach it down. Take that hand up, drop that back knee. Three, two, feel that hip open, right? Step it through, other side, reach it down or reach it up, ha! or opposite. Three, two, one, take it here. Step it back one more time each, reach it up. Three, two, yes. Last one right here, reach it up. Three, two, one, take it forward, tap and reach across. Let's get that heart rate up while we talk through what we're gonna do here. We are going three quick circuits, three quick moves. They will be a lower body, an upper body, and then a core. We'll get a quick little break in between circuits to grab water and I'll keep you moving. Hamstrings up to the back. In each of these, you will have 30 seconds in between to adjust that mini band because we'll be taking it on and off. But we have 30 seconds of our strength move. We have 30 seconds of what we're gonna call a sculpt move where we take it up, make it a little more intense, a little more of a compound move. And then we have 30 seconds of what we're gonna call our shred. That's where we up the intensity, maybe with a little bit of impact, maybe with going a little quicker, but keeping it grounded, maybe adding on all of it. I will give you lots of options. So I will remind you to be where you are today, work to your level, challenge yourself, but in a way that works for you. Take it to those jacks if you want. Just finish out this warm up. Your shred round, you can be low impact too, is where I really want you to go for it because you know you have a break coming right after that to switch into your next move and then move that band. So really go for it. It's only 30 seconds. 
You're gonna love it, it's gonna move fast. Go ahead, shake it out, grab your band. We're starting lower body. So we're gonna put it above our knees. Whew. Actually, I lied. Below your knees, right here. So mid calf. With these bands, no way it's gonna roll up, it's gonna move around, that's all part of it. Don't worry about it, it's not you, it's not your legs, it might be your shiny pants, who knows, but that's part of it. We're gonna start with, not, with legs nice and wide and just your squat. Then we'll add on stepping it out, then we'll add on with some jacks. So go ahead, create that tension, squat it, here we go. So drop it low and bring it down. You can reduce that range of motion if you need to modify, you can always take it a little bit smaller or you can just step out, step in. That's what's coming. But for now, I just want you to increase the tension. So keeping those knees wide and those feet wide while we drop the hips regular squat. What we're gonna add on in about five seconds is we're stepping into that squat so we get a little more while we keep them burning. Here we go. Step out and squat, step it in. Step out and squat, step it in. I still want you to get low, drop those hips, out and in so we're here here yes what we're gonna add from here in 10 seconds is last 30 seconds we're gonna keep it low knees bent legs burning but we're gonna make it a jumping jack low impact or high ready here we go out in out in low impact you're just a step high impact Get that jump, but we're not here. We're here, because we want to keep those legs, those glutes, those outer thighs working while the heart rate gets up. Shred it, 10 more seconds. Keep it going. I know, I'm feeling it too. Lots of legs. Five, four, three, two, breathe. Woo! Step out of that. So that's what it looks like, but no repeat workout. Once we're done with it, we are done with it. Catch your breath. You can keep this, or you can go a little medium or lighter. We're doing a pull down. Got our hands on the other side. We're pulling it down right here. Then we're gonna add the knees slow. Then we're gonna add a little jump with it. Catch that breath. Squeeze in the back in three, two, one. Here we go. So all upper body. Use this time to catch your breath, but I also want you to connect with your core. So as you pull down, zip up in that core. Everything's pulling in and up, not here or here, but squeeze in the back, pull in, and really get those elbows coming down. So we're working through our back. Let's add an alternating knee. Here we go. So in and up, nice and slow. Little standing crunch. Again, you're thinking not just pulling down, but to the back. So we really get those muscles all down the back. Keep it going. Woo! Maybe you're getting looped up here. Take it here and up. What we're gonna change is we're gonna take the knee out to the side and we're gonna pick up our pace. It's our shred round. Keep the upper body moving. Here we go. Yes, you do not have to go as fast as me. If you need to take it a little slower, we're just adding a little bit of obliques and we're keeping that back working. I know, you should be feeling it. Keep it going, squeeze, squeeze. Side and back. For four, three, two, one. Yes, breathe. Take it down to the mat. So we're going into some core. Watch me here. We're gonna start it. We're gonna put it around our feet. Modification, you are gonna stick with your first strength level. And that is here, just bringing the knees towards the chest. So work in the abs there. Then we take it up to a bicycle. Then we make it full bicycle for our shred round. But if you need to modify pre post ER, stay here. Here we go, bring it in. Tap it down. So you're just bringing the knees into the chest while you engage that core. So think about that breathing. Inhale, exhale, pull in and up. So deep core, everything in, hips together, ribs together, right? 
Gentle lift on the pelvic floor. You can keep it right here if you're modifying, or if you're able, take it up here. You're gonna push and pull. Push and pull, slow and controlled. Here's what I want you to think about. You're pushing with one, but you're also pulling in with that knee. You're gonna feel that contraction, right? You can lift those shoulders if you want, or keep them down. Yes, hopefully you feel that core. Take it nice and slow. If you need to take it higher, you can. If you need to take it lower, you can. Breathe. All right, team. Stay modified if you need to. Take a break or take it to the bridge. But if you can, bicycle. Here we go. Even though it's our shred round, we are not taking it super fast. We're keeping it controlled. If that's too much, again, you can just do those taps. Take it here. You should still feeling, be feeling the core and those hip flexors, right? 10 seconds to go, and then we're getting it done again. Or with different moves, I should say. For three, two, one, and relax. Yes, team. Quick sip of water. Circuit one is done. We're gonna get this done fast. All right, team. Whoo! So, just to keep it moving in between, I want you to take it no band, just your jacks. You're modified or you're here. You got 30 seconds. Join me here. So just jacks, just to keep it moving. Again, I don't care if you're low impact or high, it does not matter. As long as you are moving, if you showed up today, you are successful. So keep it going. What we got coming up, we're gonna put that band over our knees this time. We're gonna lunge it back. It's gonna feel a little tight. That's okay, it can be a close lunge. We're gonna add a little leg lift. We're gonna add a jump. We're gonna go right leg, then left leg. Go ahead and breathe. So, grab your thicker band. Put it above your knees this time, catch your breath. So, just like our other ones, on your shred round, earn that rest. Above the knees this time, it's gonna look like this. So, if you have the range of motion, you can still keep it a staggered lunge. You do not have to get as low because I know that band is gonna roll. So think of it more as here. Then we're gonna add a little leg lift. Then we're taking it to a jump. Then we'll get the other leg. Are you with me? Yes! Here we go. Lunge it, tap it back, and up. So I know this is a little weird, especially if you have a thicker band. That's okay, even if you just get to here, keeping that weight in the front heel and pushing through the glute in the back, you're getting it done. It's going to look different than our traditional lunge. So forget everything I normally tell you about getting low, right? We're just pushing back, breathe. Staying on this side, we're gonna add a lunge and a lift. Lunge and a lift. Join me here. And again, I know your band might be rolling up or might be all over the place. It's frustrating, whatever. It happens to all of us. You'll see it happen to me before we're done here. So do the best you can, and don't think that you're doing anything wrong if that band is all over the place. In fact, it probably means you're doing it right. Yes, burn, right? All right, we're gonna switch lunge with our jumps. Here we go, you can go low impact, just here, just taps, or jump it. See, I told you, there goes my band, it's gonna roll. I don't care, I'm gonna roll with it. See what I did there, keep it going. <laughs> you got 15 seconds, jump it. Again, I don't care how low you get. I want you to push through the resistance. I want you to land soft and push out of that front heel. You got 10. <sighs> right? I know, burn. Woo. Three, two, <sighs> shake it out. Guess what? We're gonna do the other side. So give yourself a second. Readjust that band. We're gonna do everything on this side. Catch your breath. We've got our lunge. It does not have to be super low. We just want the front leg working and pushing through the resistance. Then our lunge and our lift. Then our split jump that can just be a jump or you can get low with it. Right? Let's get it done. 30 seconds. Tap it back and lunge. A lot of my mini band workouts we don't necessarily put a lunge in because it's tricky, right? It's gonna roll. It's not as intuitive as a squat with the band, but we still love it, right? So get down as much as you can. 
We're gonna add that leg lift in a minute. So both legs are working. A lot of glute and hip in the back. A lot of hamstring, quad, and glute in the front. Here we go. Lift it up. So lunge, lift. Lunge, lift. Yes, breathe. Good, keep it going. Try to get as low as you can. We're gonna do the split jump in a second and I want you to earn that rest. We've only got 30 seconds. Keep it here for five, four, three, two, jump in. Here we go. So your split jump, it's gonna roll. Don't worry about it, just roll with it or just tap it. Tap, tap, you're splitting. Up to you. Use those arms to give you power. Land soft, try to get low, but don't worry about it. Push out of that front heel, off that back toe, and push through the resistance of the band. I know, see, I told you it happens to everybody. Don't worry, five, four, three, two, ha. Take it off, whoo. Breathe, I know, team. Catch your breath. Lighter band if you got it. We're taking it down to the mat, so breathe. You may even need some water after that. I'm gonna adjust my air, as you know I sometimes do. This is a million degrees in here. All right, band over your hands. On your knees, or on your knees, or on your toes. We're gonna walk it out, zip up your core, join me here. So we're going out and in, out and in, out and in. If you're modifying, Pre, post, DR, stay on those knees, quadruped. You can also be on your knees, but at the angle, a little more core. We're working shoulders, chest, upper body. So think about pushing out, but also staying lifted in your core. I know you're feeling it. Guess what we're gonna add? A push-up. So out, down, and in. Out, down, and in. Or out. Yes. Or quadruped, you're here. Through the center. Yes. Elbows pointed back. Your band is actually gonna give you a little bit of help on that, so keep it going. Guys, we're gonna add, if you're pre-post DR need to modify, I want you to stay right here. Otherwise, watch me here, guys. Take it down. Woo! Lift it up. Bring it in. Push it up. Take it down. Lift it up. Join me. If you haven't already, sweat round. Squeeze. I know, again, that band is gonna get in the way. It's gonna rub. Get over it, just do it. You are doing it. You are here. You are succeeding. I don't care what that band looks like. It's awkward. It's fun. It's done in five, four, three, two, one. Nice work, team. Catch your breath, water if you need it. We're gonna come down on our side. Two sides here, whew. So we're here, band in the front, band here. We're starting with our side plank, whew. Then we're adding a row here. Then we're adding a leg lift, all right? Let's get it all done. It's long, it's lots of core. Here we go. So we're just lifting first. Just lift the hips. Two on the knees or all the way up. I know, this is long. But breathe, little lift. If you need to, use that knee for balance or use that hand. I know, three sets of 30 is gonna feel like a lot on that shoulder, especially after we just work them, but keep it going. Grab your band, you're pulling up and down with the side plank. Pull the elbow to the back. So we're getting back and shoulders, or knee. If that bottom shoulder needs a break, just take it here. You can come in for that shred round, last 30 seconds. Just take it here, or keep it going up. Knees or toes. Oh yes! This was on purpose to keep that upper body working, but who is feeling their shoulders? I know I am. Leg, here we go. Whoo, that's hard. So bring it up, bring it down. I'm actually gonna stay on my knees because that's too hard for me where I am today, right? I can do it, but it's putting me a little off balance. So I'm gonna stay on the knees so I have a little better form. Totally up to you. 
either is fine. 10 seconds. I know you're feeling it. Probably most of all shoulders, but think about that core. Three, two, one. Burn, right? <laughs> Shake that out. Ooh, give yourself a little second to breathe since we're gonna go right into that on the other side. So obliques, then back and shoulders, then hips. They're all tired already. They're all working. Go ahead and start with that hand down, knees or toes, just your lift, ready. Here we go. Yeah. Woo. And breathe. Yes. You can be on the knees as well. Whatever is good for you. Think about pulling everything in. And really think, guys, sometimes we feel it in that shoulder. Move it out or in if you need to. That might be all it takes to feel it a little less. Or you can even rotate that thumb up. That's a question I get a lot of feeling your shoulder. You may need to externally rotate a little bit to feel it a little more in your obliques. Here we go. Bring it up. And down. Lift. And down. If your core needs a break, just work that back. Or take it here. And down. Or lift. Yes. Squeeze, everything's working, upper body, core. We're gonna add that lower with that leg lift in just a few seconds. And then we are on to our very last circuit. Here we go, up and down. Again, I know that's a lot of balance, so you may need to stay with me and stay on your knees. You're still gonna feel it all the way through, right? Hip, oblique, oblique, back and shoulder. 15 seconds. And we're back up on our feet. Yes. And breathe. Yes. Last three, two, one. Relax. Good work, team. All right, guys. Bring it up. Catch your breath. Shake it off. Woo right let's get to open that up a little cardio mobility you know i like to put this sometimes in between step it out side lunge take it in big open of the arms here and here and open of the hips join me 30 seconds cardio mobility you can shuffle it a little bit more again i'm gonna adjust my air and breathe out you want a little extra cardio take it here but again, open and close, open and close. That should feel good. While we also open and close the hips, heart rate, five, four, three, two, breathe. Let's get it done, last round. All right, team, heavier band. We're coming into a curtsy. So we're gonna keep it whoo, above our knees right here. Watch me first. We're gonna tap it back and curtsy lunge. Same idea as our regular lunge where I don't want you to worry so much about getting low. Just cross behind and here. Then we're gonna add a side leg lift and then we're taking it skater. Ready, one side, here we go. Cross it behind, push it up. So lower impact modification, you just don't get as low. If you're able, try to get down there, push up it behind out of that hip so you should feel both hips working push through that front heel quads hamstrings glutes yes after this we got 30 seconds sculpt round we're gonna add a side leg lift flex the foot here we go take it down and lift up to you if you can balance it like this go for it otherwise in tap out that works and out or all the way through and up Woo. right are they burning we're gonna get that heart rate up and keep that burn in five four three two shred round it's a skater start slow I know it's gonna feel weird when we do these cardio moves where we got the band but your goal is to get as far right and left as you can, as you have space for, and as your legs will allow, right? Oh, burn. 
Try to get low too and really stick it in the legs, in the hips, but think more about side to side so we get that outer motion. Lateral, three, two, one. All right, can we do it all on the other side? Yes, we can. Yes, you can. I know you're tired, but we are so close to the end here. So let's do it. Remember, we're gonna tap or lunge if you can. We'll add a side leg lift. We'll take it to the skaters. Then we'll give our legs a break. In three, two, one. Here we go. Tap it down. Bring it up. Yes. And up. Burn, right? Good. Breathe all the way through. Dropping the back knee again. I know it's a little tricky. Anytime we have the band and we're lunging, we're gonna add that side leg lift in three, two, one. Here we go. So curtsy up and in or all the way through. Curtsy up, curtsy, breathe. Yes, burn. That skater is coming. When we get to it, I want you to go all out. Go all out. Whatever that is for you, if that's fast, if that's wide, if that's low impact or high, whatever it is, give me your all for 30 seconds. Skater, here we go. Tap, tap, tap. Side to side. You can keep that back foot off the ground for a little more intensity, a little more in those legs. You can pick up your pace. You can get a little lower. Whatever it is, give me 10 more seconds. Going hard. Skater, hips, yes, breathe. I know, I feel it too. Three, two, one, breathe. Yes. Woo! Shake it out, right? Good work, I know. <laughs> Toss that to the side. Water, if you need it, grab your lighter band. We're going upper body. Biceps and triceps. So hand and hand, you're pulling it up, you're pushing down, you're keeping it nice and tight. We're gonna push and pull together, one side. Here we go, 30. And breathe, and breathe. Yes. So it's a little more of this tricep extension, but I do want you to watch this top hand. It's biceps, meet in the middle. You may need your heavier band both are working, right? Guess what guys, I know your legs are tired, but how about we add a little plie? Drop it down, down and up. Push and pull, push down, pull up. Drop those legs, burning, right? Breathe, upper and lower together. We're gonna keep that heart pumping. We're gonna add a little jump to this if you want. Otherwise, you just keep going right here. But we're gonna add a little jump and a pulse with the upper and lower. Watch me here. Pulse, 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 pulse. Join me, shred, 30. Pulse, pulse, jump, or pulse, pulse, up. Yes! I know it's burning, it should be burning here, should be burning here, should be burning here, should be burning here. Whatever you got, 10 seconds, pulse, pulse, jump. Yes! Woo! Shake it out. All right guys, other side, maybe I'll try thicker. Don't worry, you're not gonna be uneven if you switch it up. But same thing here guys, so we want smaller range of motion with the biceps, little more extension for the triceps, but both are working. We add the legs, we add the pulse, we add the jump. Let's get it done. Zip up that core, shoulders back. In three, two, one. Drop it down, here we go. No, just your upper and lower, right? So if you went a little heavier like me or you have a little heavier, again, small range of motion, but pay attention to how you feel on that muscle. If it feels like it's not contracting, pull a little more, you can even Bring it in, give yourself that slack. 
That works too. Triceps, you may have to think a little bit more about one over the other, that's okay. We're getting them working together. Let's add that plie, drop it down right here. Push and pull, center, center. Yes, let's finish it out. We got it here, upper, triceps, biceps, glutes, hamstrings, inner thighs. Gotta get those inner thighs because we got so much outer on those lunges, those curtsies, and those squat. Whew, jacks, right? Add the pulses, pulse for two, jump for up. Here we go, pulse, pulse, jump, or pulse, pulse, up. Burn it in those arms, burn it in those legs. Get the heart rate up. Yes, you know when I'm singing my breath that it is burning for me too. Five, four, three, two, one. Yes, team, shake it out. Woo. All right, let's take it down. Band above your knees. No, below your knees. We're gonna take it down. Last move. It's gonna be for our, our abs, right? We'll get the heart rate up too. If you're modifying, I want you to stay in your knees and you're just gonna tap it out to the side. Tap it out to the side. Otherwise, bring it here on your elbows. Here we go. Tap it out and in. Tap it out and in. Out and in. Core is engaged. Breathe and up. Staying lifted the entire time. So think about pulling everything in, everything lifted up. Guess what? In our sculpt round, we're going up and down in that plank press. Three, two, one. Here we go. So we're going up and down, in and in. Out and out, in and in. I know, left, right, left, right, right, left, right. Or here, you're out, out, in. A little trickier, but you can do it. And guess what, guys? Our shred round, you pick your elbows or you pick your toes. Plank jacks. Finish it out in three, two, one. Here we go. Out and in. Keep it going. Just your core. And that cardio. You can also just tap it or out. Stay here if you're modifying. Keep it moving. You got 50 seconds to finish strong with me right here for 10. Breathe, lift, four, three, two, and one. Relax. Catch your breath. I know, team. Guess what? We're going to do one quick bonus move. I know, but guess what? It's not going to look like that. What is a mini band workout without a bridge? So slide it up to here, team. Grab a band with the other. Put it over your hands. Watch me here, over and out. Join me here, last thing. Take it out and out. I want you to think about that core working as we pull over. So it's a pullover for your upper back and shoulders. It's a bridge for glutes, hamstrings, and core. We're gonna get that shred round. We're gonna fit, forget the sculpt in between, but we're just gonna get some pulses, cause you can, in three, two, one. Pulse them both out. Pulse, pulse. Don't forget to pulse up with those glutes. Pulse out with the arms or down with the arms. Whatever feels better for you, out. Squeeze, keep those hips high. I know it's burning, but you can do it. Stay with me. Whoo, yes. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. Whoo. Bring it down right here. Yes. Take it off. Right, team? Ha. Keep it right here over your feet. Fold over into it, get those hamstrings. I know, sneaky little bonus move, right? Usually 
that bonus move is up and down or side to side or lots of cardio. This was pure sculpting and burning, right? Ha <laughs> ha, Take those knees out, stretch it out right here, reach those hands forward. Ha, <laughs> of course, get more stretching on your own because you might need it. Don't forget to like this video. Let me know what you thought in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe. When you subscribe, it helps me keep making completely free workouts for you here on YouTube. So please subscribe. Take that foot here. You can sit on the edge of a chair if that's better or cross it here. Oh, get that hip stretch. Ha, ah, subscribe so I can keep making these for you. If you're looking for mini bands, click the link in the description below and you will find them also in the description. You can find all information about my Body Fit Athletic Club. If you are looking for more support and accountability, that is the place for you. You can connect with other body fitters. You get direct support and guidance and access to me. Bring it up, team. And to Vivian, our body fit dietitian, you get a nutrition guide and lots of other fun events and education and information and support. So we have a good time. Check it out there. Also, click the other links below. Make sure that you get my newsletter free monthly calendar, as well as follow me on social media at Body Fit by Amy so you always know what is coming up. Woo, bring it behind. Thank you for showing up today. I hope you felt like felt that like I did. Ha! One big deep breath in and out. You did it. That was your mini band shred workout. Great job, everybody.